In October 2015, northern Iraq was an ISIS stronghold. The militants killing and kidnapping anyone who opposed them. We all witnessed the mass atrocities and that ISIS was committing. And it's one that could be compared to you know, Nazi Germany at the time. Sergeant Major Thomas Payne was part of an elite U.S. Army special ops team sent to free dozens of hostages. If we didn't action this target, then the hostages would probably be executed. So they had already dug graves to, to bury them in? Yes, sir. Payne and the team choppered in. Chief passes the one minute call back. That's when you make that transition, you know, from soldier to warrior. That's when all joking stops and it's game time. They landed next to an ISIS prison, a compound with two low buildings. At wheels down, Payne says all hell broke loose. It's at nighttime. It's, it's a complete brownout. We're in an intense firefight right off the bat. Um, there's smoke and dust everywhere. Payne entered one building, meeting little resistance. But the team raiding the other building needed backup. This is basically a sprint to the other building about 30 yards away. The building's on fire. It's hot. It's hard to breathe. You know, we're, we're coughing up, um, you know, kind of almost black, kind of soot. And worse still, Master Sergeant Josh Wheeler is killed during the operation. And Master Sergeant Josh Wheeler put the hostages' lives above our own. But there was no time for grief. Payne rushed into the ISIS prison. The militants inside were shooting and detonating suicide vests. So the building's starting to collapse. We have hostages inside. We're being engaged by enemy combatants. Payne and the other commandos pushed on and freed the Iraqi hostages. You see their faces light up. Some are crying. Some are happy. Um, it was a mixed emotion. Some of them realized they're being liberated. In this video, you can see Payne checking if the building is all clear. How many hostages did you and the team manage to get out of these two buildings? In the first building, I believe it was 37, and the other building it was 38 hostages. The building that was on fire, that was collapsing. For his bravery and sacrifice, Payne today will receive the Medal of Honor on 9-11. I don't consider myself a recipient. I consider myself a guardian of this medal. What I can say is that I've had the honor and privilege to serve with the greatest men and women of the 9-11 generation. Sergeant Major Payne was in high school on 9-11 and says it inspired him to enlist. The rescue operation he helped lead was one of the biggest in U.S. military history. Richard, what an mm. incredible story. That's just the best of us. When you, mm. when you think about 9-11 and the ashes of 9-11, some high schooler who's going to come and commit an act of bravery like right. that one and day. And not a recipient of the award, but wow, yeah. incredible.